Good morning, students. Welcome back. Today in this class, we are going to study about the emphatic pronouns. We have already discussed about different types of pronouns, and in today's class, we are going to focus on emphatic and reflexive pronouns. The, the, the type of pronoun that we are going to see is emphatic pronoun. Now, what are emphatic pronouns, and what are they used for? Emphatic pronouns are used to emphasize, are used to highlight, are used to emphasize, or are used to tell us more about the subject of the sentence. Meaning, if we are writing any sentence, a sentence has a subject, a predicate. If we go much deeper in a sentence, we have subject, helping verb, verb, object. All these things can be seen in a sentence. But since we are talking about pronoun, we need to know what are the different types of pronouns and how are they used, what are they used for. So emphatic pronoun is such a type which is used to emphasize the subject, the subject of the sentence. Subject, what is the subject? Subject is a noun or a pronoun that we talk about. It's called a subject which is generally at the beginning of the sentence. Now over here I have mentioned few examples which will make the concept more clear. The first example says, I myself did it. Now over here we have the subject that is I. Myself is being used as an emphatic pronoun. Since I said I used to emphasize the subject of the sentence. Now the word myself, the pronoun myself is telling, is emphasizing more about the subject. And the meaning conveyed over here is that no one else but I myself did it. No one else, no one helped me, no one else but I myself did it. So myself is emphasizing the subject over here. Again, okay, next example. She herself did it. She herself. Meaning no one else but she was the one who did it. Next example. They themselves did it. They themselves, no one else but they themselves. They were the one who did it. No one else. Now one thing you have to remember over here is that the emphatic pronouns are always used just after the subject. Okay, this is a key point that you have to remember and it makes us easier to understand the differences between emphatic pronoun and reflexive pronouns. Because the pronouns might be similar. Okay, pronouns are similar but the usage are different. The structure is different in a sentence. Emphatic pronouns are always used just after the subject. Okay? So these are the examples of emphatic pronouns which focuses, which highlights the subject in a sentence. The next type is reflexive pronoun. Okay? Okay, so the next one is reflexive pronoun. Now, what are reflexive pronouns and where are they used? Reflexive pronouns are used as objects of a verb. What are they used as? They are used as objects of a verb. When the action of the verb affects the subject, when the action performed by the verb affects the subject, okay? First, we have to understand that reflexive pronoun is used as objects of a verb. Now the object will always come at the end of the sentence. Please remember this, that the object of a verb will be present, will be there after or at the end of the sentence. Okay? Now, when the action of the verb affects the subject, now the action will be affecting the subject. We saw that the subject comes at the beginning of the sentence, the verb is in the middle of the sentence and the object comes at the last. Now the object over here will be our reflexive pronoun. Now 
when it is being used as an object object of a verb we also have to note that the action of the verb affects the subject example he hurt himself they blamed themselves now over here we have subject verb and the object and the object which we have over here in these two examples they are reflexive pronoun okay they are much reflexive pronoun subject verb and object okay now what is the meaning being conveyed over here it is used as object of a verb so the object is at the end of the sentence okay after the verb after the verb or at the end of the sentence now they blame themselves themselves himself they are telling reflecting back to the subject how because he hurt he hurt himself now himself is standing for he they blamed themselves themselves stands for they the action of the verb is affecting the subject okay this is telling us about the subject action of the verb is telling us about the subject but the verb the uh, the reflexive pronoun is used after the verb it is used after the verb it is also an object but it also tells us about the subject how because the action the action is affecting the subject they blamed they blamed whom they blamed themselves okay they blamed themselves he hurt himself suppose if we have these two words subject and the verb he hurt he hurt whom he hurt himself coming back to the subject affecting the subject okay so this is about the reflexive pronouns and we have seen the differences between reflexive and emphatic pronoun the difference is that the reflexive pronoun are always used after the verb or at the end of the sentence but emphatic pronouns are used just after the subject this is the difference between a reflexive and an emphatic pronoun okay so please revise please work out the exercise that we given to you work it out and then if you have any problem or any confusion we can discuss that in our next class okay thank you and have a nice day